In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, on this day of great rejoicing, we as your children, we welcome you as our King and Savior. Help us to walk in the shadow of your cross. Hosanna, we cry. Blessed are you who come in God's name to save us. Strengthen our faith in this Palm Sunday so that when the time come to carry on the cross, we might still call out to you with heartfelt praise. Lord, give us this day our daily strength to understand, to feel even today you are with us and to follow you on the holy way from this time of darkness to light. We need you through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hosanna. Dearly beloved in Christ, I greet you all once again on behalf of St. John's family, on the Cherry Pastorate. Let's worship God. God is Spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Hosanna, the son of David, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall sing forth your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Let us confess before God. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 
For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us bow our head before God, if possible. Let us kneel before God. Let's humbly confess our sins before God. Gracious God, we sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with all our hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Have mercy upon us. We ask you, cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon and remission for all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's our the reading for this morning worship service. The gospel reading is taken from Mark chapter 11 verses 1 to 11. Mark chapter 11 verses 1 to 11. As Jesus and his followers were coming closer to Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethpehe and Bethany near the Mount of Olives. From there Jesus sent two of his followers and said to them, Go to the town. You can see there when you enter it, you will quickly find a cart tied, which no one has ridden. Untie it and bring it to me here. If anyone asks you why you are doing this, tell him it must just need the cart, and he will send it at once. The followers went into the town, found a cart tied in the street near the door of a house, and untied it. Some people were standing there asked, What are you doing? Why are you untidying the cart? Their followers answered the way Jesus told them to answer, and people let them take the cart. They brought the cart to Jesus and put their carts on it, and Jesus sat on it. Many people spread their carts on the road. Others cut branches in the fields and spread them on the road. The people were walking ahead of Jesus and behind them, shouting, Praise God! God bless the one who comes in the name of Lord. God bless the kingdom of our father David. That kingdom is coming. Praise to God in heaven. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. After he had looked at everything since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the two apostles. Amen. Let us pray. Dear God, open our eyes and lips to praise your name, Hosanna. Open our hearts to accept you as our King. Open our mind to think and ponder over your cross which we have to carry in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Dear family members, I greet you all once again on behalf of St. John's family, on behalf of Theos Pondicherry Castrate, and all the members who are linked to victims. It is so painful for us sitting in our home, and if you can, you can just take a leaf, whichever is uh, available to you outside just your home. If it is new, just take it in your hand. You just say, Hosanna, Lord, come and save us. Just take a moment of time to praise God, for He has taken the courage to walk, to come onto the streets of Jerusalem as the King of people, the King on the on the lineage of David, King David, is a, who is also the Son of God, who is also the Son of David. And he carried the whole thing in his hand to bring the people, those who cannot come to the altar, those who cannot enter to the church. He was empathized. He was leading the whole crowd. He was able to raise the energy of the people to bring them towards God. Osana, the book of Ephesians uh, letters, which, is, which was written by Sir Paul, to the churches, which even still it connects us even today when we are in trouble, when we are uh, separated or isolated from others. 
it has the message the core message of Christ was the instrument and he was the only instrument made possible to bring God and people together but now in Christ Jesus you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ this is possible only by Christ we are sitting now far away we are isolated and we are not together the book of Ephesians says that the Lord Jesus Christ was not only the king the not only the Lord for human being he also connects well being the whole creation into God's hand now who is this Christ for us today who is this Christ on that day the streets to the temple were filled with happiness of simple people were filled with voice the cry louder cry of the simple common people saying that our messiah is here our king is here the one who was promised through the prophets is here now because he was able to make people to see he was able to make people to walk he was able to people to speak and he is able to raise the reign of god here in this world and he is able to make the peace among us that was the joyous movement of the people the movement against the injustice the movement against the injustice through the political leaders through the religious leaders through the economic imbalances the economic suppression all the things were challenged by the only walk by that only person and all the crowd were behind him to reach god as one community here is the prince of peace even before he was born he was named as the prince of peace and when he was born the song of angels said that let the peace be among the nations on this earth yes here's the person who is able to bring the real peace that god wants the people to enjoy here in this world Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 says for he himself is our peace who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier the dividing wall of hostility he is the only person he is the only hope for us even today to break the walls of hostility he is the only hope to break the walls of dividing factors whether it is virus or worldly thing whatever it may be nothing can separate us from the love of god he is the prince of peace his shoulder carries the whole world in way to praise but he was so simple though he seemed to be the king yes the world knew that he was a king the he was so simple the king is so simple you know when the time of trouble when the time of conciliation with esa jacob sent donkeys as the sign of reconciliation with this as the sign of humility before is a sign of asking forgiveness the sign of humbleness that he said before his brother esa people go on horses uh, for war but donkey considers as the symbol of the king here is my king who has humbled himself who has emptied himself osana the cry of the people can you hear the sound of the people there are so many medias are exposing today the cry of the people lord come and save us help us messiah yes today we ought to cry for the king to walk on our streets there is no one to hear they are praying please shout today in your house lord help us lord save us and they said someone said that rest in home 
are rest in peace. Are we talking about that kind of peace that would be achieved only after death? No. The king of peace, the prince of peace gives the fullness of life in this world when we live. In the time of darkness, he is the source of light. He will lead us from the darkness to the light. Asatvoma, Sakkamaya, Tamasvoma, Chodipkamaya, Mrityoma, Amritam Kamaya. Lord, help us from the darkness to light. Peace is not like in the cemetery where there is no life. Peace is like the reign of God where there is fullness of life. That is where the king of peace ruling us. That is why we are every day we are praying, Lord, thy kingdom come. Where there is fullness of life, everyone can enjoy, all the creatures can enjoy today's person. The sick are shouting, Hosanna, Lord, heal us. The poor are shouting, Hosanna, Lord, feed us. The doctors, the nurses and all the medical workers are shouting, Lord, help us, give us rest. He is the only hope. He is not just a hope. He is the hope. He is the only hope. And we can shout. He can change the things which is ahead of us. He knew the future. So we need to depend on His eye. We need to depend on His blessings upon us. He said, Ask and it will be given to you. If you ask, definitely, as children of God, we will achieve. We are isolated for more than 2,000 years as Dalits, untouchables. We are isolated for more than 6,000 years as women. This Prince of Peace will bring the real peace, the reign of God among us. Let us pray. Jesus, Lord of life, show us how to live. When we are afraid, angry, sad, rejected, or isolated, teach us to live deeply into difficult experiences that we may find meaning and purpose of even in the moments which require time. May our death be just another step in our living. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful peace that you have entrusted upon us that you have promised on this day. Heal our nation. Heal our street. Heal our family. Heal those who are in need of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.